So for putting Agent 3 through the ringer, here's my final verdict. Let's start with the good stuff. For standard web applications like CRMs or internal tools, I think this thoroughness that it has and the self-testing ability of more regular web applications is absolutely unmatched right now. It produces higher quality and more reliable end products than its competitors. And the autonomy window is so much larger. And also, as we saw, the Slack bot integration is a genuine game changer. These things are a massive use case, but they've always been a really tricky thing to execute on. And I think with this, it's gonna really open up the door, the explosion of AI agents within Slack. But as you now know, it is not perfect. And the bad is that it's significantly slower than the other tools. Even when I'm just wanting maybe a quick prototype spat out, uh, something like Lovable or particularly the, the Google Gemini and the AI Studio was so much faster to just get something quick done and up and running. So it's deciding which apps to build with this is important. If it's a really important project, then yes. But if it's just a quick tool that you're spinning up or a very, very brief MVP, where you just want to get a visual of what it might look like, then this thing is going to ultimately take a lot longer and cost a lot more because Replit's costs are a lot higher than other applications. And I'd probably go for some of the other options on the market. And so with Replit Agent 3, you're trading at raw speed for reliability. And that brings us to the ugly. And here's the most important takeaway from this entire video is that the two halves of this platform, which is the AI app builder, like the vibe coding platform and the agent and workflow builder, they don't talk to each other yet, which is what I was really hoping for out of this. 